right, so here's the Polish lightweight contender, Mataj Gamrod. A lot of people eventually expect to see a belt around his waist. Huge opportunity to close the gap here tonight. Well, John, he's got big goals. He's got big goals. He has big expectations for himself. But the only way you get expectation like this is to have the ability to try to go and chase that down. Gamrod has those abilities. He's a tremendous wrestler. He has unbelievable cardio, and he's a really good striker. He possesses A-plus skills, but how does he apply them tonight to get this victory over a very tough opponent? Reps American top team in South Florida. This is a former two-division KSW champion at 55 and 45. But as you know, it is UFC gold that Mataj Gamrot is after. So here he is, the human highlight film. With respect to Dominic Wilkins in MMA, that is Justin Gaethje, former UFC interim lightweight champion. And man, he is must-see television. I'm not sure any fighter really has that type of relationship with the fan base in terms of instant electricity like Justin Gaethje. I mean, Justin Gaethje has a magnetic appeal to people watching fights because you know that you're going to see a guy that goes out there and lays it all out on the line. But in tonight's fight, he has an opponent that's willing to do the same thing. Maybe not as well known, but a guy that is willing and wants to engage in the tough fight. And when that happens, he may be in line for another Justin Gaethje, Michael Chandler fight, which we all love. Oh, yeah. And Gaethje does believe a win tonight is going to put him exactly where he needs to be. But, of course, easier said than done against this also elite competition. Kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> So Herb Dean, third man Ready, in there right. for this one. Ready. Ready. Right, early round action here, and all eyes are on Mataj Gamrod out of Poland. He has really emerged in a division in which it's very hard to do so. Had a huge main event win over Oman Sawukian in 2022, and that has elevated his status. Tonight, he believes he has every advantage in this fight, grappling, wrestling, and conditioning. Let's see how it plays out. Nice shot, lands downstairs. All right, so there it is. We expected a lot of takedown attempts early from the more well-rounded fighter. The kickboxer stays up relative to his UFC debut. Well, when he first got here, he was just a kickboxer, but this is not glory. This is not... Oh, nice. This kick. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 49 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Justin, the highlight, Gage. 
Kane. All right, Justin Gaethje, your winner by TKO here tonight. You heard it there from Bruce Buffer. And man, this dude just is nonstop. And the cardio base allows him to realize success.